Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. We begin tonight with a heartbreaking story. The body of a missing skier in Tuesday's deadly avalanche has been found. The avalanche at the Silver Mountain Ski Resort killed two other people and injured four more. Silver Mountain, releasing the update on their Facebook page, said the skier was found around 1 o'clock this afternoon. The resort says there are no more missing people reported and send their deepest condolences to everyone involved in the incident. Bogus Basin is going green when it comes to energy. The nonprofit resort announced it will use 100% renewable energy starting this year. That means it will buy only renewable energy from Idaho Power. It fits in with the power company's pledge to provide only clean energy to all its customers by 2045. And Bogus says its efforts to cut 2,700 tons of CO2 emissions per year. And of course, reducing our carbon footprint is very important for the environment. So on a number of levels, we're excited to be introducing more and more initiatives with more to come. Bogus Basin has also started a shuttle system to cut down on the number of cars going up and down the hill. And it offers carpool benefits to vehicles that carry three or more skiers to the mountain. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Take a look at these temperatures outside. It doesn't seem all that bad. 35, it's winter time, not so bad. Temperatures in the 20s in the mountains, 27 in Twin Falls. But the wind chill factor, because we've got that strong northwest wind blowing through the valley, feels like it's in the mid-20s. And yeah, setting the stage for some snow in the Charger Valley. And I think we have already get some winter storm watches for almost, almost all of the state of Idaho. In effect, for the weekend, winter storm warnings already hoisted for northern Idaho. The watches could turn into warnings, might turn into winter weather advisories depending as we get a little closer and the weather service analyzes the situation we'll probably see winter storm warnings in the central mountains and either a winter storm warning or a winter weather advisory likely in parts of the treasure valley uh, for the weekend we've already got the warnings up to the west as we've got storm systems a big one here coming right here this will give us a blast of moisture starting tomorrow night into uh, the day on saturday a little bit of a let up in the precipitation saturday afternoon and then another surge comes in on sunday with this next storm system and and another one coming in on Tuesday behind that. And when I say there's separate systems in the mountains, a lot of times it just keeps snowing between these storms as the moisture moves through. This chart shows lots of snow through Saturday at 9 o'clock in the Central Mountains. 16 inches in Pine, 11 in Prairie, at least 9 inches at Bogus Basin to this time. It'll probably be a bit more than that, more like a foot of snow. But notice how the valley doesn't have anything. So the Friday night Saturday snow could accumulate a little bit, especially in the foothills. Could get it's several inches of snow Friday night and Saturday could be very wintry, but you go south and west of the interstate towards CUNA and uh, Caldwell and Homedale, there may be nothing at all. Now on Sunday, another system comes in, cold air is in place, and that's when the entire valley might get another couple of inches of snow. So if we get snow on Saturday in Boise a couple inches, and then we get another three inches or so on Sunday, we could end up with four or five inches. It just won't all be on the ground at the same time because we'll have some melting going on Saturday evening. So it's a difficult forecast, but there will be snow over the weekend. Here's the way I'm breaking it down for you here. Mostly cloudy. We've got snow to rain, as you see it here on Saturday, and then uh, I think We'll likely see a better chance of a couple of inches of snow, one to three, maybe one to four on Sunday. Just some flurries on Monday, and there could be a significant storm for the Treasure Valley on Tuesday. This one I'm watching very, very closely as it moves on in. I will keep you updated as the changes coming in. That's your latest forecast. I'll have another update coming up right here later this evening.